Hi, this is Leah from Open Intro. In this video, we will examine three cases where R, the correlation coefficient, can be determined based on a description of the relationship between two numerical variables. What would be the correlation between the ages of a set of women and their spouses if the set of women always married someone who was A, three years younger than themselves? Because of this word always, we can see that there's a strict relationship and the correlation is gonna be perfect. If we know the age of the woman, we can know without any error the age of the spouse. And in fact, this is gonna be a perfect linear relationship. We could set up a linear equation, something like y equals x minus three. And so we know the linear correlation is perfect. So either it's gonna be positive one or negative one. This younger here might make us think that it's gonna be negative. But if we set up a table, we can see better what is going on. So here, if the woman is 30 and the spouse is three years younger, the spouse would be 27. If the woman is 35, the spouse would be 32. And so what we can see is that even though the spouse is always three years younger, as the woman is older, so is the spouse. And so it's positive correlation, not negative. We could graph these data points as an example and see that the correlation is positive. And so because it's a perfect correlation and the correlation is positive, we have the correlation is positive one. Part B, two years older than themselves. So this is a very similar example where we have a strict linear relationship. We could write it out or we could use a table to help us see what's going on. If a woman is 30 and the spouse is two years older, the spouse would be 32. If the woman is 35, the spouse would be 37. And so again, we can see we have a very strict linear relationship, and as one goes up, the other goes up. So we have perfect and positive correlation. Here we have R is positive one. And here's our third example, half as old as themselves. Again, we can make a table if we're not sure what's going on. The spouse is always half as old, so if the woman is, say, 40, the spouse would be 20, etc. Um, and by doing this, we can see that even though the spouse is always younger, when the woman is older, the spouse is also older. So the correlation is still positive. And because it's perfect linear correlation and it's uh, positive, we have a correlation of positive one again. So again, it's not whether one is greater or less than the other. It's when the one is going up, is the other going up or is it going down? And so if we ask ourselves that question, we can determine whether that perfect correlation is going to be positive or negative. That's it for this video. Check out more free resources on openintro.org.